hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some photoshopping of cars. And this S14, I uh, got requested to make a drift missile S14, uh, but I don't know if it will be drift mus uh, missile yet. I haven't come to the conclusion yet, uh, but we're going to see where it kind of goes. But obviously, finding an S14, a standard picture of an S14 online, was so fucking hard. Like, this isn't really the best quality. Um, and it, it just, I couldn't find one. This is probably the best quality one, and it is a little bit iffy here and here and there, but it's not too bad. Uh, the quality is not the best, but we can deal with it. I got a good idea about this photo as well in the background. I'm going to try and change out the background into something else, but that will be in the future. Um, future, like, 10 minutes or something. <laughs> but yeah, we got some cool ideas for this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to lower the car, put some rims on it, and see how it looks after that. Okay, I got halfway through this, and I just thought, I have forgot the main aspect of this video. Basically, I'm getting you guys involved now. Um, at the start of every single video, I'm going to show uh, cars you photoshopped. Um, so basically, in the description below, there will be this car, this picture right here, um, in the description below so go get this picture it has to be this picture and I'm going to show at the start of next video um, some cars that you photoshopped of this if you know what I mean of this car I don't know why I keep saying cars because it's this car um, but basically I want to get you guys involved so go into the description um, start photoshopping the car and see how it comes out see how it comes out and I'm going to be showing I uh, don't know if it'll be the best ones I just want to show I just want to show um, some some of your work, some of your work, because obviously there's a lot of better people out there than me at photoshopping. Um, I just know the basics of it. I used to do it at school. I used to I just basically taught myself how to do it. Um, so there's a lot of better people out there. I want to see their uh, ideas. I want to see them come up with some stuff. So it'd be fun to do. Absolutely fun to do. Uh, so I hope you guys do join in. Um, and if you have Photoshop get photoshopping right after you've seen this video and we will get going bruh yeah so yeah let me carry on with this and I'll be back in one sec okay so there we go we have got this car lowered we got some nice rims on it unfortunately the back rim was really distorted um, I got it off this car right here uh, let me zoom out zoom okay so I got it off this one and the front wheel was fine, that's really in focus, but the back wheel is kind of out of focus, which is kind of annoying, uh, but we managed to make it work. It's not the best quality ever, but it works, um, so it's fine. And I've got something to tell you guys. Basically, I'm getting you guys involved in this now. So basically, I want you to Photoshop this car that's on your screen right now. I'm going to put the original photo in the description below. You're going to go download that, uh, Photoshop it yourself, and then send it to me either on Twitter, my Twitter in the description below, or on Facebook, my Facebook's in the description below. And yeah, two easy ways to send that. Um, just upload it onto like media file, or if you're on Twitter, then you can just upload the picture onto the actual tweet. I think Twitter will be the best way to do it, so whatever way you can get a picture to me, um, go and do that. So yeah, it's looking pretty sweet at the moment. We've got massive empty space here. And I don't know really what to do with it. Um, I'm tr I'm thinking an intercooler, but I don't know how that is gonna come out. We can try it. Fuck it, let's try it. Why not? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, there was a bit of a mistake in my recording or something uh, because after that point, everything was just quiet. I don't even know what happened. Uh, there wasn't even system sound, there wasn't anything, which is really annoying uh, because I had a few little tutorials kind of sections in it, uh, which really, really, actually really quite annoying because overall this Photoshop probably took me around an hour to complete. So for it all to disappear, you know, all the sound to disappear, sorry, at least I've got the video, I can kind of commentate over it um, of what I'd done. Um, I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. Um, you guys in, will see at the end how it turned out. Uh, I'm kind of happy with the way it did turn out. Um, so I'm just going to fast forward this. Now I did do a lot of bits kind of like talking etc. But we, un unfortunately we didn't get those. Uh, okay. On to the bit I want to say now. 
you know, I'm going to get you guys involved now. Basically, I want you guys to Photoshop the same car as me. I want you to Photoshop that S14. I will put the S14 in the description below. So you can go click that link um, and the S14 will be right there. Um, when you finish Photoshopping it, doing what you want to do with it, and you want to send it in, um, I'll put it at the start of my next video. I'll go through a few of the pictures, etc. Um, but like when you're done, go onto Twitter. Um, follow me on Twitter. My um, Twitter is in the link below. Uh, in description below, sorry. Uh, just click the link and just send me a tweet and attach the photo to it. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Um, I'm trying to think of a different way to send photos, but now that the way that so social media is so picture friendly, there's no point going through media fire, etc., and stuff like that because you could just upload a picture onto Twitter now and just attack um, um, at someone in it basically. Um, so in the background, I'm putting an intercooler on this. Uh, first time I ever done an intercooler, so it doesn't look the best. I do apologize for how it does look, uh, but we tried to, we tried to do it. We tried to. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna start skipping through bits here now, and kind of commentating over the bits that I want to commentate over and cut out the bits that kind of went a little bit, little bit sloppy, let's say. So the intercooler is going in. Um, I do adjust it a little bit, and yeah, that's that. That's that. Okay, so at this point, um, I was just basically, I was colouring body panels. I've never coloured a car before in Photoshop, so it did turn out a little bit dodgy. Uh, the front bumper, as you can see, it's a very, very weird red, and I did change my decision later on in the video um, to get rid of the front bumper colour, uh, because it doesn't look too bad, but it didn't suit the car, if you know what I mean. Uh, the wing looked a lot better. The red looked absolutely delicious. I don't know how I got to that red, but it looks absolutely insane. Uh, so I started kind of colouring body panels. So someone asked me to do an S14 drift missile. So I kind of went for that kind of style. Uh, it didn't turn out like the most amazingly best uh, drift missile, but I tried it. Um, I can colour body panels now. I kind of just taught myself how to do it in in this uh, making this video. Sorry, and I did show you. I did talk over this bit making the bonnet black, but seeing as I lost my audio, then I can't help that. Um, I've made my bonnet black. It looks okay. Uh, it didn't turn out amazing once again, but it's alright. It's alright. We can deal with it. That red wing, the colour is absolutely delicious. I wish I made the whole car that colour, because that would have looked absolutely insane. It's kind of like, it's, it looks like a matte red, but it's also got like a, a satin feel to it. I don't know. Don't make sense, uh, but we make the bonnet black here I'm trying to find out how to do it this is like I've never never colored body panels so I'm just clicking everywhere trying to <laughs> trying to find the color black and there we go I finally found to make it gray <laughs> I was like no I don't get it the full black uh, but I did find a way um, and yeah I'm gonna go on to the next bit now as you can see um, I took my red bumper off the front I didn't like it uh, it didn't suit the red uh, wing either it was a little bit too much red, if you know what I mean. Maybe if I missiled the whole car, it would have looked fine. Uh, but with just the red wing, it looks absolutely sweet. And right now, I'm taking out the background because the background was really boring. It was really bland. Uh, I didn't like how it was. And I've never, never, ever changed the background of a picture. So I've set about my ways. I found this graffiti picture. And I was trying to get it to work. And it took, it took a lot of trial and error. Uh, I had to cut out the right bits and stuff. Uh, but finally we got there, um, as you will see at the end. Really happy with the way this has turned out. It isn't the most clean Photoshop ever. Uh, but I'm really happy with it. Uh, because it's stuff that I've never tried before. And you got to try it sometime, huh? you got to try it sometime. So the graffiti was absolutely sweet. I love the graffiti. Add some colours into the picture instead of just like a grey wall. Um, so it's a really way to brighten up your pictures if you do have a very boring car. Um, right there you could see the background through the middle of the wheel so I cut that out um, and I'm trying to get the curbs to work here uh, because the curb on the left hand side I accidentally cut that out when I went round the car so I'm trying to copy it right now uh, to put it back in the picture and there we go you could just see it appear so there I just cut out the underneath the curb and it is there so I've got the curb to work nicely it looks absolutely sweet and yeah it's your guys turn now so get posting I'm really happy with the way this is turned out. I hope you guys like it too. 
And if you want to download this, this is in the description. So just go download it if you want to. And yeah, have a go at the picture. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.